Welcome back to Bennington, Vermont. We're going to see the Bennington Battle Monument. Something I thought I had seen, but now I'm pretty sure I haven't. So, let's check it out. Just parked my car, and uh, this is the first thing I see. This is General John Stark. He's pointing over there. At the gift shop. Now this is what he's really saying. They're over there, boys. We beat them today, where Molly Stark sleeps a widow tonight. I wonder if he really said that. By the way, General Stark had fought at Bunker Hill and had been with General George Washington at Trenton and Princeton. I think he basically came out of retirement to fight this battle. Should we go up there? Whoa, whoa, look both ways. Well, here we are. I'm all by myself at the top. And the sky is uh, filled with smoke from the Canadian wildfires. Not the best visibility today. They have these charts to show some things you can be looking out for. There's somebody's garden. Now we're facing north. Green mountains are shrouded by smoke. When I'm done, I'm supposed to press that button and they'll come get me. That's where I drove in. I gotta see that statue down there. They're setting up for a party down there. Must be someone's birthday. There's the church we saw. Well, I pressed the button and they're on their way. It's kind of fun to look at these old pictures. The monument under construction. Mind your head. A few artifacts. The Battle of Bennington happened on August 16th, 1777. There was a large supply of guns and ammunition kept where we are right now. And the British 
desperately wanted to capture that. General Stark led his troops out to meet the British about five miles from here, and they forced a retreat. However, later in the day, there was a second attack, and this time the British started to prevail. That's when Colonel Seth Warner and the Green Mountain Boys showed up exactly at the right time. The British suffered heavy losses and had to give up their invasion. This is talking about all the houses that were torn down in this neighborhood to make way for this monument circle. This is a tribute to Colonel Seth Warner. When Vermont knew they were under attack, they asked New Hampshire for help. And New Hampshire came through big time. There he is. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.